little bit of background about Thornton Thomas Hetty. Um, let's see if I'm on the right page here. Yep. Uh, so we were founded as a structural engineering firm, but uh, with our recent merger uh, with Weidlinger, which I think we have to update. It's so recent that we didn't update our information that was announced a little bit earlier. Um, we actually can trace our roots now back to 1949. Um, while structural engineering is still a big part of our work, uh, today we have 10 practices that span structural engineering um, and beyond with 1,200 people uh, and with uh, almost 40 offices worldwide. Um, with the exception of this recent merger, almost all of our growth has been organic. Uh, our business model has always been that, um, uh, that it's not to be bigger, but to be better. Um, more depth and breadth is what we're looking for. Uh, and while we're not the biggest engineering firm in the world, we like to believe that we can be the most innovative and the one that the clients rely on for our toughest challenges, for their toughest challenges. Um, so these are our 10 practices. Uh, you'll see the, uh, the, th the three uh, uh, Widelinger practices that have been uh, added to, uh, uh, to our group of practices. We're very happy to see that we're almost now 40 people in Boston uh, and excited about the expansion that we have both uh, in services and geography. Um, and the bulk of our work, as you see, is really built, um, focuses around the built environment, mainly buildings and bridges, and we provide services at every point in the structure's life cycle. Uh, and our growth has been not necessarily in scale, but in expertise. We strive to make each of these practice centers, uh, these practices a center of excellence, a platform that drives innovation and provides a challenging work that attracts and retains the top level of people in our firm. Um, but in today's discussion, um, I hate to be a downer, uh, but uh, we have a problem in our industry. Uh, and as a group, we have a long way to become before we're going to be seen as innovative. Uh, here's a graphic that was actually published last year in the Harvard Business Review. And if you can see down at the bottom there, uh, the construction industry is down here at the bottom, dead last when it comes to speed of innovation. 